are the forwards. Our select physical therapy injury report. Once again, no injuries to report for the hustle as we get underway here at the Landers Center in the hustle. Isaac Bonga. He'll try the jumper. That's a long two, and it is good. Bonga coming off the win Tuesday against Northern Arizona, 111-104, the final on that one, a game in which they ended the game on an 11-2 run as Markel Crawford knocks down a long two. Sets up Crawford from the corner. Missed this one, but it comes right back to him. And in the lane, he scores again. So five points here for Markel Crawford, son of great NBA coach George Carl. He's in his third year. Free throw miss, but then put back up and in off the offensive rebound. On the offensive end. Kyle Casey gets to the rim and the two-handed jam by Kyle Casey, making his second start of the season. Goes down the two-handed hammer. On. Yuta Watanabe knocks it away. Crawford right. to the rim, blocked from behind by Bonga. He helped him, but I still think Tua will win it just because yeah. they're going to look at the fact that if Tua would have played fourth quarters all year, his numbers would be beyond belief. And if he would have played some third quarters. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So he had to adjust his body in the middle of the air. He had to square up when he was already in the air. Nice move by Bonga. We've seen more air balls tonight. Do we? Travis Ware drops it off. And Bonga uses the English off the glass that time. That was a reverse. So the Lakers with the lead now by a point. Tyler Harvey and that He puts the hustle back on top. Training camp. And we were like, who, wait, who is this guy? Give us a sheet again. And who, who are these, who is this guy? Because he didn't miss anything. And Ware makes a fadeaway right there. So we know he can get going. He's a guy who could, who could definitely be a candidate to step up with Brandon Cooper. Hannah's runner falls. It's the roll there. Yeah, we don't, I don't want to get it lumped in that you, you don't want, you want to be lumped in with Pac-12 football referees. So Marcus Allen. The position, but it's not like having a good winner of Carter out there. Right. Where you can just split the minutes up evenly among who brings the ball to court and who runs the show, who gets the team to their offense. Because they can run it a little bit as Harvey knocks down his second jumper. Hustle with a one point lead, and Javon Carter picks the pocket of Caruso, but Caruso able to get it back. Hey! And Caruso to the rim lays it up and in. It is, I mean, his rebounding numbers from his college days are really amazing. That's a block by Jones, but it's put back up and in by Terrence Drizzt. Caruso against Carter. Nice pass there. And putting it in is DeMarcus Holland. That was a good catch by DeMarcus Holland as well. It's out picked up by Drizdom. Yuta will pull up and he'll hit. Finally, somebody gets one to go. It's Yuta Watanabe. Been a role guy, plays his role, plays with the team. But with Brandon Goodwin out, like they, they need someone to score, and Yuta is a two-way guy who has the ability to score. Mario Jones has it. That's that looked like he traveled, but okay. That was very nice afterwards, though. The pass to Ware, who tapped it right back, and then Jones able to find Holland for the lay-in. Allen lost it, got it back, finds Williams all alone. Javi can't hit the three. Good look right there. There's a good pass from Tanner McGrew. And the other way, Ware able to beat... Watanabe back and he gets the easy two. Drizdom steps into a three. Or no, excuse me, that was Tori Phillips who's into the game. He misses. Carter, second chance, third chance, and he finally puts it in. I mentioned that win for South Bay. What's traveling. Amazing, what's amazing about South Bay and their win Wednesday is where hits the fadeaway. They put up 123 points and only made five free throws. That is not easy to do. 118 points from the field as Crawford. Not the way he wanted to represent here in his return no. to Southwind High School product. Watanabe blocked at the rim by Jones. They're going to call a jump ball. Well, just nothing will go 0 for 10 now from three-point land for the hustle. Williams had it stripped, got it back by Allen for the easy two. Not like the defense is just awful. They can't score. Yuta, yes. Be aggressive, Yuta. Yuta has to be aggressive. Picks up this second. Wide open, Bonga underneath has been pretty offensively. Watanabe, finally, somebody knocks down a three. 
Yuta knocks it in. He's got seven points. Bonga the other way with the runner off the glass. Gets Allen to DeMarcus Allen. And he gets it off the glass. Marcus to DeMarcus, and they get two out of it. Yuta thought about another one, didn't take it. Tanner McGrew off the glass. You're gonna, if Coach Coach yeah. Jones is blocking my view, you're going to have to tell me what's well, happening there. That, that, was, that was perfect church league right there. Caruso. Nice pass to Bonga. And Yuta with the rejection. Under three minutes to play in the half. Crawford, crossover, and then pop right over the top of Bonga, Markel Crawford. He seems to shoot better off the dribble than the catch and shoot. I agree. Which is not normal. I mean, most it's guys not normal. Bit, no. But he, he's much better off the dribble. He wants it. Crawford gets it to him against Caruso. Eight to shoot. Kyle Casey inside off the glass. Got it to go. Tough shot from the field. Casey! Look out, Travis Ware! And yells in his face. And I think that's our Coca-Cola Zero Sugar highlight of the game. Caruso, Caruso says, I got gotcha. you. I see you. 43 Lakers with a halftime lead. Crawford runs into his own man. His 18-footer is good with seven tenths of a second remaining. Absolutely know what I'm talking about. If you've gone away for a while, when you come home, Mama is going to have you a good, unhealthy cooked meal. And I think that's why Jonathan Williams was a little lethargic in the first half. Down to three. That is the first made three for South Bay in six attempts. Jamario Jones as Darrell Moore gets inside for the dunk. Jones did have six rebounds in the first half. Uh, early, but he gets a dunk right there, and he's slow to get up. And Allen collides. Crawford the other way. And a little, little baby hook. Hornets picked up by Allen. Nice crossover by Jones, and he sets up Allen for an easy two. There's a lot to like about Jamario Jones' game. He just does a lot of things well. I, I, I like those Swiss Army knockouts. Markel Crawford's got the jumper going. What about Jones, though? I, I love those kinds of players. They just do everything for you, make hustle plays, and you're, you're, you're 100%. Jones to Bonga and his three. So now they have hit a couple of three. Bonga is the one guy who can knock down threes or has knocked down threes this year, nearly 46%. Javon Carter knocks one down at the other end. We'll see if maybe Javon Carter can get heated up. Third quarter. <laughs> he loves the third quarter. We know that. Crawford. can hit. Tipped out by Kyle Casey. A good block, good defense there by Jonathan Williams. Didn't fall for any of the fakes. And Williams, one Memphis area guy to the other, sets up Jones for the layup. Totally ran in there in a ball that should have been the hustles and tipped it out to one of his own players. Gets inside and scores against Harvey. Jamario Jones. That can change quickly with him, though. Yes, it can. Casey steps back and hits. Down. Phillip the other way again to the rim. Yes, and one. I, I think the Lakers players have a case here. I, I thought Phillip pushed off with that right arm. 7 of 14 from the field and 3 of 4 at the line. A one-point game again. Travis Ware hits 65-62. McGrew inside, gets the feed from Phillip and puts it in. Here come the hustle, looking for the lead. Phillip on the run. Hannes for the lead. There it is. We had four so far tonight, but that can change quickly. And Dusty gets up to seven with that three. Inside, bucket and one for Travis Ware. Hannes again. <laughs> There's the double figure. There's the do I told you it could change quickly. And Ware. a chance to add on to it. Ware can't answer this time. Phillip the other way, gets down the lane and lays it in. Good job by Phillip right there. He was just sitting there waiting for somebody to take control. The hustle might be doing that, but now a nice feed from Caruso to Ware, and he gets the two-handed dunk. And his former West Virginia teammate, Tariq Phillip, drives. Hannah's with the little runner, and he gets it to go. Eight points in a hurry here for Dusty Hannah's. End of the third quarter, Dusty Hannah's has scored eight here, and a breakaway chance. He will lay that one in.
loses it, gets it back, and then throws it away. Not a good sequence there for Tanner. Nice feed to Williams. That'll be goaltending on McGrew. It goes in anyway. Yep. Nonetheless, a foul on Casey's first team foul. And now Williams going to work against Casey with that swooping through the lane, left-handed hook, and it goes. They want to get it to Williams. They do. He finds Holland. Holland battling underneath. Can't get it. Traveling. Williams. Traveling. 11 for the hustle, so they're plus 10 in the turnover department. Hannah's down the lane. Got it to go. 16 points now. Where for three. That could have been an a one too. He could have been a potential four-point play because you'd have knocked him over right there. Hand off to Hannah. Eight to shoot as he backs it out. Hannah spins, fires. Yes, Dusty Ooh. Hannah. Dusty Hannah wants a little... He's playing for a post-game cookie. I hate to tell him we don't have any. Yeah, we don't have, we don't have any cookies. Came into play last year. Phillip on a drive to Casey and blocked by Williams. Man. Offense has stalled here a little bit the last couple, the last minute or two. Williams with the left. You know, that was good defense by Kyle Casey, but that's his better offense from John DeWitt. I mean, he almost had a triple double the other night. It was assist a short, uh, was one assist short of the triple double the other night. And here's Markel Crawford, his former high school teammate, knocking one down. Javon Carter out there, works against Jones. Kicks it back out for the red hot Dusty Hannas. His leaner is good. Hannas got it all going right now. He was the floater, and it is working for him tonight. Wanted to show he's more than just a three point shooter. Jones misses, but Williams is there to tap that one. Ten rebounds gives him a double double. For Dusty, it is a season high with 20 points as Casey gets that bucket. 17 for 28 to combine. For Markel Crawford and Dusty. Jones had it blocked. Caruso curls, shoots no. Williams way above everybody else for that rebound and put back. After the free throw by Crawford, Caruso can't get. Offensive rebound though goes to Allen and he puts it in. So Markel Crawford has matched his season high. And he gets another bucket. And he has gotten it going in this second half. There's no doubt about it. So this is the third trip where they've had a chance. Nice to tie pass it up. from Caruso right there. Really nice pass. You get a second straight win this week. Crawford pulls up and hits again off the dribble. Yeah, off the dribble. That you know what? I was sitting here wondering what what play would you do? Markel Crawford pull up jump. Caruso blocked by Casey. Jones got it, loses it, picked up by Williams. He puts the Lakers back up. But again, Casey working against Williams. Missed it. Rare can't handle the rebound. A loose ball foul, and they're going to get. Going to call that on Kyle Casey. And he missed again. He's 0 for 2. Started at North Carolina for a year and then went to UCLA. And he hits finally at the line to make it a two-point game. And timeout taken here by the Hustle. Like Javon wants it. Ten to shoot. He's got wear on him. Carter on a drive. Tough shot, but he got it to go with eight seconds remaining. Right up at 94. Here comes Caruso. Caruso. His shot is oh. good off the glass with 2.5 remaining. And a timeout taken by the Hustle. Uh, There's Caruso. You tip your cap to him. I, I couldn't believe he got that to go in. Oh, they're going to get it into Crawford. Crawford, ah. reverse, no. You know what? That's a really good play call, and they got a good look at it, too. Not something you would expect. Catch, turn, and go immediately to the basket. You're thinking with 2-5, they're just going to shoot it. So that was a good play call. Just didn't get it to go.